Hey everybody, welcome back. Alright, we're going to start over, and this time we're going to go with Unknown. We did not have a lot of luck with Unknown the first time around, but uh, hopefully we'll have a better experience this time. Our Proctor run was pretty good. Uh, so let's see. We have Remise. Instead of working on Continuity 2 from the start, I think we're going to work on Maneuvering in Armor 1. Best to get that encumbrance controlled as soon as you can. And of course, we'll start learning continuous mind sense. And uh, as I mentioned, hopefully, we will have better luck this time as the unknown character. But we'll see how that goes. All right. So as always, we're going to grab this upgrade sphere. And this wood debris with the nails in it. Not the best weapon, but it's it's something. And there's the uh, hell mode credits and the discord where you can get hell mode as well. Let's see if anyone's back here right now. No. All right. All right, take it real slow here. Yep, there we go. Whoops, I thought that was going to be right on there. A little friendly fire never hurt anybody. That was a whiff. Yeah, I knew I shouldn't have done that, and I did it anyway. So we're off to a horrible start once again. Absolutely horrible start. I knew that I was being impatient trying to go in for that hit. I knew that the slow-mo zombie was possibly going to hit me, and I did it anyway. And we got a lot of red damage right from the very first fight. Oh, great. All right. Well, so be it. Yeah, most of these enemies here in the beginning have two-handed weapons, which don't help us at all, because we can't see without the torch right now. So we're stuck, at least for a little while, with this terrible weapon. Right. Alright, so here's some quilted trousers. Again, those two-handed weapons are not really going to help us right now. Take these boots and this tunic, and these gloves, and this belt for now. And we will switch to a hatchet here. Crude hatchet in reasonable condition. We'll probably find a better one in this room. Uh, right, well, there's a better belt and a slightly better tunic. And that's a two-handed axe. All right, 
right, so there is a simple hatchet in great condition. And this one is high quality in great condition, so we'll take that one actually. So the hatchet is obviously much better than the wood debris. It's still not uh, a weapon that I would, you know, use if I had any other choice, but it's definitely better than the wood debris. used to using weapons that have more reach. It's taken a while to figure this out. Alright. Okay, don't need any of those things. Don't want the two-handed axe. Alright, these gauntlets are not bad at all. Take those. Don't care about the handsaw or the sickle or that hatchet. We'll put on this waistcoat for now. Not really interested in the hammer. And we stumbled over those logs there. That was not effective. Put this jacket on instead of the waistcoat. Slightly better belt there. Grab the compass. the flank there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How is he still alive? Well, I obviously thought he was dead there, so now we've got even more red health damage, and I can tell you that our unknown run is gonna be just like the last one. Ugh. I do so poorly with these weapons that we're stuck with here at the start. Waiting to see what happens here. Yeah, 
Okay. Okay, so well actually I like this. This bill hook has a little slightly longer reach than the hatchet. This vest and this cap. Okay. Uh, yeah, don't want the long knife. And uh, we're going to pass on the sledgehammer. All right. I don't hear Baron fighting anyone over there, so that's a positive sign. Maybe he'll be alive when we get there. We are the unknown character, so he should be there on the other side of that. So let's compare these. If I could click on that. Uh, more impact and more slash, that's what we want. And we don't need van braces because these gloves that we have cover our forearms. Another woodcutter's axe. None of these weapons are uh, very interesting here.
Well, that's just splendid. We're almost dead. We have no health saps. And if she's standing over us, when we wake up, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. Well, nothing I could do. Literally dead. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Thank you very much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Please hit like and subscribe if you'd like to, and I'll see you all next time.